I mean, if someone wants to break my dreams, then I get some shit. Not, not me, but that's what I mean. Sometimes it depends. Yes, nobody un understands me. Okay, so for me, it's the it depends on what. Sometimes some things upset me, but sometimes no. Um. Uh, I'm gonna say it depends too, because most of the time I'm not upset, but sometimes I do get upset, like Misty not loving me back. Alright, see you later when the score comes. <laughs> Alrighty, so the score is, is here, and we both get 30 points. So 30 points for me. And 30 points for the purple bunny. Alright, see you on the next question. Pups. Uh, Hee <laughs> hee. How do you think a dream can come true? Dreams won't always come true. Waiting and hope. By hard working. You have to make your dream come true by yourself. By asking. By asking help to someone. Um, I'm gonna say A. Dreams won't always come true. Sometimes, if you're lucky, dreams will come true, but sometimes not. And I'm gonna say waiting and hope. So yeah, see you when the points come. Hey, that's my line. I don't care. Mm -hmm. Alright, so the points are here. I get 50 points. And um, the purple bunny gets 40 points. Okay, three more questions to go, and then it's the end. Well, this is a very long video, but it's something else, and it's a cool thing. Okay, where is your favorite seat in a classroom? Somewhere where I could follow the lesson. Alone. Next to the window. Anywhere, but next to a nice, next to a nice people. What? Anywhere, but next to a nice people? They probably mean anywhere, but next to a nice person. All right. Um, where I can draw without being seen by a teacher? Ooh, I got. I want. Um, I actually have three choices. Next, I actually have three things I like to sit. Next to window, anywhere, but then next to a nice person, uh, where I can draw without being seen by the, by a, the teacher. Well, when I sit to a nice person, like when I have with like my friend, where I like would like to talk to, then I don't really work. So that's not really a good option for me. Um. Well. I guess where I can draw without being seen by the teacher. Um, I'm not really on a school, but I would like um to sit like um to a nice and cool person. All right, see you when the points come. All right, I get thirty points. The purple bunny gets um forty points. Alright, see you when the next question pops up. Alright, are you afraid to hurt someone? Yes. If I hurt someone, I'll help this person after. Again, I'll help this people after. What? That's not good English. I'll help this person after. I never do it. Deliberate. Deliberately. <laughs> I don't know that word, how well, how to pronounce it. Only people I care about. No, he slash she probably deserved it. Um, since I don't know what they mean with C, 
I'm gonna go for E. No. He slash she probably deserved it. Um, well, I'm gonna say only people I care about. If I don't care about the person, then not. Alright, see when the points come up. Alright, Purple Bunny gets 20 points. And I get 10 points. See when the next question pops up. Just one more question. Yay! Okay, um, how are the relations with your family? We're close. We're really close and share the same hopes and dreams. They know what's best for me. They don't understand me. <laughs> Anyways. My dad came around. Um, they don't understand me. I don't see them often. So, uh, who? I think it's E. I don't see them often. Um, um, I'm gonna do the same. I don't want to see my family often. So we both choose E. We'll get back to the points when the points come. <laughs> Alright, we both get 50 points. And now I'm gonna count our score. And I'll get back and I'll, then I'll tell you which Disney princess we are. <laughs> hey guys, so I count my score and um... Misty score and um I'll read you which Disney princess I am. I got three hundred and forty points and if you have two hundred sixty to three three hundred forty points and I got three hundred and forty points then you're Rapunzel you're a kind of artist and you really like to meet new peoples really like to meet new people and discover new things you're curious and a bit <laughs> romantic <laughs> i'm not romantic at all i don't even have interest in love wait may i see which disney princess comes next <laughs> if i had a little bit more if at 10 more points i would have been anna <laughs> and she is 100% romantic. <laughs> okay, I guess I'm going with um Rapunzel. Right now I'm going to count Purple Bunny's score. See so, ya. Yeah. Oh wow, Um, the Purple Bunny has 330 points, which means he's also Rapunzel. He's a kind of artist. And you really like to meet new people and discover new things. You're curious and a bit romantic. I'm not a bit romantic, I'm really romantic. Seriously. Okay, I'm gonna say which other princesses you could have been as well. You had 100 to 170 points, you're Merida. You can look a bit grumpy or rude when people don't know you, but you're brave. Love isn't your first preoccupation, and you love freedom. Actually, when I read this, I'm like more Merida than Rapunzel, but um, I guess this IQ test tells me I'm a bit romantic. <laughs> right. All right. You get 180 to 250 points. <laughs> okay, you're Tiana. When you've got a dream, you never give up, and you're ready to work hard, maybe too much, to have what you want in life. Well, I'm not like Tian at all. Then comes, um, um, come in. So, like, I'm a Rapunzel, you've heard it, like, twice, what Rapunzel is, and if you have 300 450 to 420 points, you're Anna. 
You're kind, generous, and smiling. You're quite lonely, but you try to not give up and make new friends, even if it's hard. You are 100% romantic. I think I know the last princess. 430 point, 430 to 500 points, you're Elsa. You seem a bit cool at first approach, but you're really nice. You're afraid of hurt. You're afraid to hurt people, and you try to hide your secrets. You're realistic. Right. So that's the IQ test for both Rapunzel and I'm a bit romantic. <laughs> Peace out.